Hey everyone, it's uh, Armstrong Designs here. Um, we're just going to do another really quick tutorial today. Um, this is just how to make uh, water droplets. Um, I've seen a couple other ones on uh, YouTube. Um, they were good, they just didn't really explain it much, so I thought I'd put one up um, of myself. So the first thing you're going to do is open up an image in Photoshop that uh, you want to put water droplets on and then you are going to go down into the bottom right hand corner here and click create new layer and that's going to bring up this layer one here and then you are going to double click on your thumbnail or you can go down to this effects button and that'll bring up your layer style so the first thing you want to do is click on the blending options and for blend mode you need to change that to screen and then for opacity make sure it is all the way to a hundred percent and that should be all you need to change for there then go click on drop shadow make sure the box is checked uh... for blend mode put that to normal and uh... make the box black bring down the opacity to about fifty percent you can play around with it however you would like um... the angle pretty much just up and to the left doesn't really matter too too much the distance put it between about five and seven here um, spread is zero and then for size I would put it between five and seven again and then that should be all for drop shadow then after that you're gonna go down to inner shadow and you're gonna change blend mode to overlay and change this white this box here and make sure it's white and make the angle about the same just like that then for distance put that between you know 10, 11, 12 right around there make choke at 0 and size at 6 then you're gonna make click on outer glow make sure all these boxes are checked and for this one you're gonna have blend mode as normal opacity around 40%, 40, 45 right around there noise is zero and make sure this color is set to black and then for elements you're gonna have a technique as softer and then spread is zero and size is about nine ten right around there and actually for inner shadow we're gonna change the angle here and make it uh, down into the right just like that change that like that change drop shadow so it's up to the left inner shadow down to the right okay so then you are gonna go ahead and click OK and once you click OK it should show all these effects here and uh, then you're gonna go up to your styles if your styles are not already shown go up to windows and click on styles you're gonna go to the middle one here and click create new layer or create new style sorry and uh, make sure both boxes are checked and name it whatever you'd like so water drops click OK and uh, it'll be up here up in your uh, styles now water drops I've already got another one pre-made here it's just called water 2 so then you're gonna click on that and in your history box it'll say apply style if you don't have your history box already up you can go up to windows and history and it'll show that now with uh, that style applied and you're on your layer one still you're gonna grab a brush and uh, make it black and uh, just a reasonable size however you'd like wherever how big you want the drops and you're just going to start putting it down just like this as you can see starts to put water droplets and I've also got another background here too that you can see you can just bring back the brushes a little bit show this background and you can see the water droplets here 
So just play around with it, change the opacities and change all your change the layer styles, change the the drop shadows, just change the directions and see what works best for you. Um, that is pretty much it for uh, today's tutorial. So uh, have a good day and uh, let me know if it helped. Thanks.